everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. I wanted to share with you today a super easy recipe for a Thai quinoa dish. I'll put links below to all of my playlists that have all my recipes, but you'll notice there's a trend. L's easy, whatever. <laughs> so this is no different, super simple. I will put the recipe to this on my blog, uh, so I'm not gonna go into huge detail, but you'll get an idea of how easy it is to put together. So here's all the ingredients for the sauce and you basically just mix all of these together. If you aren't familiar with quinoa, which I wasn't, it comes in black, red, and white. And I get these at Trader Joe's. It is like a rice pasta, it's a grain. You treat this exactly like rice. Cook it according to the ingredients. It's usually double the water to the quinoa. So I put in two cups of water and one cup of the quinoa and get that cooking. While that cooks, I prepared my ingredients, which are super simple as you see here. I think the two most time consuming things are shelling the edamame. <laughs> I get my edamame at Trader Joe's and just be sure that you get the kind that's fully cooked because they do have one that you have to cook. And so you shell that. And then the other, like time consuming is relative. <laughs> the other thing is julienning the carrots. If you recall in the video that Mark did for you on our Thai chicken pizza, we showed you these Titan peelers. One peels and one juliennes. That makes julienning of these carrots extremely efficient so those are the two quote most time consuming things in this recipe so once your quinoa is cooked you simply add the sauce to it and then add in all the ingredients except for the cilantro and chicken I prefer mine without chicken because I don't need the extra calories and we get enough protein everywhere else so Mark he's a guy he doesn't eat anything unless it has meat in it so his has chicken on it and the cilantro and then at the very end I also add on chopped peanuts so you can see it's a really simple easy dish looks really pretty and it tastes really good you can adjust the seasonings the ginger um, the amount of lime the garlic and the red pepper flakes as much as you want to your taste and you can always throw in extra ingredients as well so that's my super super easy recipe for my uh, Thai quinoa if you have any quinoa dishes to share with everybody and myself below I would really appreciate it so feel free to type those up I hope you give this a try and if you do let me know what you think of it thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic Sunday and we'll talk to you next time